April the 23rd. Time is 7 o'clock p.m. in the afternoon. My name is uh, Detective Ricardo Suarez. I'm accompanied here by uh, Detective Sergeant Ruben De Leon and Detective Joe Vecchio. Here in front of us we have Pablo Lucio Vasquez and I'm uh, about ready to read him as a Miranda warning before we ask him any questions. Before you ask any questions, it is my duty to advise you of your rights and warn you of the consequences of waiving your rights. Pablo Lucio Vasquez, you have the right to remain silent and not make any statement at all. Any statement you make may be used against you in trial. Any statement you make may be used as evidence in court. You have the right to have a lawyer present to advise you prior and during any questioning. If you are unable to employ a lawyer, you have the right to have a lawyer appointed to you during in the questioning. You have the right to, to terminate, terminate the interview at any time. Do you understand your rights, sir? Yes, sir. Do you wish to give me a statement on what happened on April the... Yes, sir. Yes? Yes, sir. Okay. okay. I need you to sign, sir, here, and put your initials on each. Okay, Pablo, can you tell us uh, what occurred? I want you to start since Friday. Oh, Friday the 17th. Um, April. Me, Andy, Patrick, and uh, David were going to a party. And we were looking for a week. Uh, and we got invited to that party. So, when we first we had our dog, we walked in the dog, and then we got there, and so they asked us if we could come back. So we did, we took the dog home, and came back. And when we were there, they asked us to work here, so we started drinking here. And we stayed there for at least two or three hours until it was over. What time did you get there? It's like uh, 9, 8, 9. First two was early in the daytime, but it was day still. And when we got back, we took off. I came back. And me and Andy and David came back. And they said we wanted to drink. So I got a beer that I was drinking. And the beer finished, so they passed a bottle of liquor. And I was drinking liquor. And I remember by the time I was really busy. What type of liquor? Um, when I was president. Because it was strong, they poured a lot into mine. And I was already feeling um, drunk. So somebody smoked me in there, so I started smoking some too. And I did boxing and everything. You did what? Coke. I did some. And plus, yeah, I was already loaded. And then I told We decided, yeah, because the party was finishing. Somebody gave us a ride. And what, what time did you guys go home? It was about 12. It was already like going to be Saturday morning at night. It was in the daytime. I didn't know where that little guy was going to go. He took off. What little guy? David. I didn't know what he was going to do, so he followed us. He went with us. They gave us the right to the house. And me and Andy were there. He went he went to the back. I went inside. And when I came to the back, and I told Andy, what's up with the family? And he said, I don't know. He's going to be in the back. And I don't know, did it went there and got off. I started hearing voices in my head. And I told my cousin that somebody told me to kill him. Kill him. So um, I snuck up on him and I hit him. And he fell down. What'd you hit him with? The pipe. What'd you get the pipe at? It was on the floor, like where he was at. Mm -hmm. He looked at me at first, but then and he looked at me too, and like. I guess we didn't have my feeling or nothing. Did Andy try to stop you before you hit him? No. Well, he didn't say nothing. He just looked at him and like he felt something was wrong. So I hit him. And Where'd you hit him at? 
What was he doing when you hit him behind the head? Just look at him. And then he said something all along. And I hit him like three or four times. And he was right there. He was still alive. When you hit him three or four times, where did you hit him at? In the head. He was still alive. And and they told me, you killed him. You killed him. And I go, no, he's not dead. He's still alive. So um, I went inside. And that dude was getting there. And they, Stuff really so I told him we were gonna bury him. And he said yeah and I got him and we took him and Andy had the show. Okay, you went inside for what? Huh? What'd you go inside for? I just went inside to go check inside. Like did anybody I heard anything? Did anybody what, was anybody awake? Yeah. And um, like nobody was awake. So I came back outside and my cousin had a knife in his pocket. Your cousin who? Andy. Okay. And I saw him. And I got the knife and I cut his throat. And then he was still like, talking and stuff. And when I picked him up, he was, I just put him on my shoulder like that and I carried him. And I threw him on the floor because he was too heavy. And I grabbed him from my hand. I picked him up and I grabbed him. And he was still saying something. And I picked him up in the air because the blood was dripping. And he got all over my face. So I, I don't know, and something just went jeep, jeep. Like, I took a drink, got a water, and water. You drink, you drink what? His blood. And I don't know, and my face was granted with his blood. And I put him down because I felt weird. I don't know. And then my cousin said he's still blind or something like that. And I took him across the road, like around, what, what was that was name? In the area where they found him, okay. and he was saying something. And my cousin got the show and hit him like five, six times in the face. And my, all I knew was that, yeah, he was really good. When he hit him on the face, what was the guy saying? What was David saying? He was saying something, I don't know, he was mumbling something. Any words that you can remember? Mm -hmm. He was just saying, uh, like, like, I don't know if he said it dope or something, but he was saying something. Yeah. I heard his. I just seen his blood crushing out there, and I started to panic, so I went and just put him back there, so we took him back there, and we started digging the hole, and the dirt was too hard, so we just took a little tiny hole, and I put him there, and by the time I went, I was just finding stuff to cover him up with, and we covered him, and I put grass and pieces of wood on him, and by the time I realized, I took off his ring, but I lost it somewhere right there, and his chain was busted, and I threw that away too. And from then on, we walked to Randy's house, and we just, I took a shower, and my cousin got the clothes that was full of blood, because I was wearing Your cousin who? Andy, who okay. He got the boxes that I was wearing were covered with blood, and he told his mom that he was quitting or something like that. And his mom was awake? No, she was in the morning. Mm -hmm. They asked us, well, why are you doing it so late? Come home so late. No, we were drunk. And that, and yeah, she asked us then the next morning. And the next morning, I woke up. I had, I realized that I had done something bad. And I thought, real got gotcha. And I just wanted to get out of it. And I waited out there, just thinking about what I had done. So I, went, I wanted to kill myself too because I told my cousin Randy, I looked at him and I feel like killing myself because I did something wrong. And he looked at me and he goes, oh, no, don't do that. And after that, I told him, I want to leave. I want to leave because if they find me out, they're going to kill me no matter what. That's this serious. And my cousin goes, no, because no, don't go and I said that. I told him, I don't have to leave. We could have done it already. Or he got both of us in trouble with him and everything. And he, he said, yeah. So that day passed. The next night, that's when I saw him on the head. The next night being when? Um, Saturday. It was already Saturday morning. The next, then Saturday night, I told my uncle that I was beating because... Your uncle who? My uncle. Uh, had his dad, Chuck. And I told him that because I had, did something bad and then he was mad. He got mad at me for him. What what exactly did you tell him? That I had done something bad that I had hurt some kid really bad. And who did you tell this to? My uncle. 
Who drunk? What drunk was his name? John. John? Yeah. One. One. Yeah. So you told him Saturday night that you had done something bad? Yeah. But then I. Did, I did, did I you told, show him the chain? Yeah, I showed him the chain. I said, look, this is what I took away from, but I threw it away at the same time. That, that same night I threw it. I don't remember, because I was in the, in the car and threw it. I tossed it. You were in the car going? Well, I, I stayed there until the next morning, right? And then I asked my uncle if I could go with him back to Houston. And he said, well, I don't want no troubles, and I will not. But I was just thinking around and I didn't tell him. You know, that's everything that I did. And got back to him. What did you do with his sandals? Well, the sandals, that same day, they told me that, what did you, you do to David? What did you do to David? Who told, told you? Me. My cousin told me, man, you guys did something to him. What cousin? My cousin, Jeremy. Jeremy what? Chapa. He asked me, where, where's David? Where's David? And I go, I don't know, I think you're my mom. But I was lying to him. And he, me and my cousin, we knew it, that uh, we had killed him. Mm. So what did you do with the sandals? I don't know. I got some glue from the PCP pipe, the pipe, from the PCP pipe. I poured it on there and I told my cousin to leave. My cousin told me to leave because he's the one that found them. He goes, who's the bees? Who's the bees? And I said, no, those are mine. So I got them and I put some of that stuff on and I did it. And we got up and we, I stayed there until they melted. And then I turned to go home, put that over. You lit it on fire? Yeah. Where's, where, what about the, the sweater? What was he wearing, David? Um, what shirt? I don't know how, where it came up. Because I, I dragged him from the shirt too, for a little while. The, s- the sandals were very short? They're, they're melted down. I melted them. They melted them right beside where the dog was. You know how the sidewalk from the trees right here, where the dog was tied? Mm-hmm. And we go like, a little bit into the sidewalk ends right there at the corner. There's like, there should be ashes right there and plastic stuff right down the bottom. That's right there. The evidence of that. Um, so from then on, I took on thinking and shit. I don't think they had to do that. Who stabbed him in the stomach? My cousin. I came over right there after and he hit him with the saw. He had a little knife and put him. Because he was. Who poked him? My cousin had this poked him in the stomach just once. Yeah. And the neck was full of blood too. The neck went and he washed it. Okay. Did you guys uh, cut off any any parts of the body? No. They just that I found a piece of bone when we went back to the house. We went back to the house to see because I didn't, there was a lot of blood thrown there, and I got the water hose to wash wash it, and it didn't want to come out. And I mean, damn, I just freaked out. And I, they, they asked me, what did you guys do? What did you guys do? I said they would kill the fossil. And then who, I grabbed it. Who asked you? Um, my cousin, Jeremy. They asked me, what do we do? And I said, I grabbed the fossil. And my cousin, Jennifer, asked me too, what do we do? I said that I killed the fossil and that I was trying to bite the dog. My cousin, Andy, told that to them. And then I grabbed it in the town and turned it around like that. That's why all the girls were throwing up over place. But actually, this when I picked them up. I that on my shoulder and I turned around at that and that's when all the blood splattered everywhere and he was still talking. And what was he saying? But I, I couldn't understand because he was choking on some blood. Mm-hmm. I had him upside down like this. His back was on me like this. His stomach was like that. And his arm was just hanging up. Who cut off his leg and his foot? Nobody did. Did it's you? Probably an animal that smelled him or something. Cause we, I don't know if my cousin hit him with the shovel or how it all over, but all I know is that I just remember hitting him with the pipe and cutting him. But the rest of it. When you guys were at the, the trying to bury him, yeah. did you see your cousin do anything to him? Well, he was just he was freaking out on him, like, damn, we killed him, we killed him. He was just telling him, like, damn, we killed him. And I go, I know if we get busted, we're going to have to talk for him. I go, I know that. Yeah, I feel sorry for him because the first place he should have never been with him. He should have never been with him. I was having messed up mine ever since a long time already. I was having messed up days. I was being a jump and I couldn't see him for nothing. Because I was wanting another time for some other things. What things? 
Because like, they, some guy, they wanted to find me all the time. They want to find me. They always put me in person. Like, they made me go steal for them and stuff. Mm -hmm. And take the rap for them. And I didn't want that shit to wear. And they're always saying that oh, I made luck and all this shit. And they were trying to put me down bad. In, in Florida? Did you kill anybody in California? No. And you had no, no trouble in California? No, maybe because I stole a gun or You stole a gun? Did you use it? Huh? Did, Did you, you use it on anybody? No, somebody tried to use it on me, that's why I took it. Okay, going going back to when you hit him, when you hit him in the back of the head, you didn't think? The piece of bone popped out. That's when we went back. From to where? The, from the back, somewhere right here. And I saw it on the mattress. I left there to know it was, but I picked that piece of bone up. I remember not being, and I put it in my pocket. And the next morning when I woke up, it was there, and my cousin Andy got it and he left it down the toilet. That's when he got all my clothes and threw it because my pack was all torn like that. Where he had grabbed me, that guy had grabbed me, and I was like, whoa, why am I freaked out? And she just, because other shit happened, and I, I can't Did he fight you back after you hit him with a pipe? No, he stayed, like, stumped the door or something, like, he didn't, he didn't mm -hmm. know what was going on, but he was trying to say something. Where did you guys uh, throw the clothes at? Whose clothes? My clothes? Mm -hmm. And the trash can, the trash man came the next morning. I think, or Sunday, or the Monday after that, because we put it up front. I couldn't walk because my leg was messed up, and they had one. Because when I jumped, because we took off running after that, we just walked off the front of the house. After we did all that, we walked to, back to the, where, because 483 is at, where Andy's mom's staying. Um, his, his name is Jeff, he has a car down right there. Mm -hmm. And we walked back to there and we jumped the attic to the back. And I couldn't walk that good. And Andy had, Andy had to help me walk all the way. And he was telling me just watch out the top. And we did. And, and I'm sorry for killing that little granny. But if I had a chance to go back in time, I would, I would never go. The, the autopsy says that someone we don't know who cut a piece of his back off. And there was a knife. Right? I, I don't how know. did how, how did the how did it, it was a video was probably how did it But I don't think I did do that. I mean think when we dragged him because we dragged him on the cement, maybe the cement scraped his back. No. Mm -hmm. There was a nice cut all the way across his back. Like a knife or like somebody took a knife to his back and and cut and cut it and cut it, you know, and they cut it off. We were trying to cut off his head. Uh, we were, they were trying to cut off his head to show him. Who was? Me and I did. Because we were, like, we were trying just to tear up. Well, what was your reason for trying to cut off his head? Because the devil was telling me to take it away from him. Who was? The devil was telling me to take it away from him to keep it. To keep it and it couldn't come off. But I was just freaking out because I was hearing that. And what about Andy? What was he hearing? I don't know. He was just like... I don't know, he was just, I don't know, he was just like going with it too, I guess. Did Andy drink blood? No, he was just, he threw up, because he saw me do it. I told him, if you were going to do that, I go, you know, I told him, you know, he's telling me to do it. And I'm like, I'm here, I think. And he just went along with what we did. Have you gone back? Did you go back the next day, on Saturday, to go see him? No, I didn't go back. You never went back after that night? What about Andy? Did he ever go back? I don't think so. I didn't. Uh, How many times do you think you hit him on the neck trying to cut his neck, his head off? Like three or four times. What about Andy? A couple more times too, but he couldn't come on. He didn't want to come on. Which, which uh, shovel were you using? A big shovel? Or it was this, the blue one that you can spawn for. How tall, big is it? It was like, two, it's like that, and then it's cut in like this, and it's like that. That was the one that we used. That's the only show that we took. And that's the one that Andy used to hit him in the face. When How many times? Like four or five times. Just hit him and the guy, he kept shaking. And, uh, he kept saying to them and he said, motherfucker, shut up. And Who said that? My cousin said, Andy. Mm -hmm. He kept hitting him and hit him. And I just looked and I go, 
Mm-hmm. We just, like, we didn't fill that thing in our tank because we were all fucked up. We were both. No mops. We were no mops. At that point when you guys were hitting him, did he still have his white shirt on? I don't think so. Yeah. I think it fell off because it. Where at? Because I pulled him and it came off and I just threw it around the river. So I just picked him up at that and threw him off the and I carried him to a river. How yeah. did you guys pick out the spot? I mean, just, I just walked to it and I don't know. I just walked. Just walked him. And I and mean, just put him there. He put him there. I started digging and I, and, and I, couldn't, I couldn't do it anymore because it, it was amazing. I was sweating up the blood and like eating and I was realizing I had done something messed up. Like, and I still kept hearing that, that weird. It was just like, I don't know. Like one side of my head telling me you did it wrong, you did it wrong, the other side telling me, why do I keep doing it, keep doing it? Every time you keep. Kill him again, just take this around, keep doing it. Kill him, kill him. That's Have you ever felt like that before? Yeah, when I was gonna kill myself one time. How long ago was this? Before I came from California. How long ago was this? Um, um, like two days before Christmas. But I was here on, I got here on, I was on the bus so I here on Christmas. And I, I was here on New Year's Day. Had you been drinking when you felt that, when you heard that the first time in December? It was, uh, I was on, there was some other drug that they have out there called meth, methamphetamine. Where is this, like in California? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I got addicted. That was like, uh, actually they got addicted, but I just, I, was, I stayed up for two whole weeks without sleep. And I got, I was dressed in black from, it was in the middle of the day. And I tied on top of a tree and I tied a rope on it. And I put a rope on my neck, and I, my uncle was calling me and I told him that I couldn't get down because somebody told me to, to jump and I thought jump. So I was going to take me. What's your uncle's name? My uncle, Guero. What's his name? I don't know his full name, but... Where's this at? California. What part of California? Um, Tulare County, Visalia. Is that where he lives at, in Visalia? Yeah. Hmm. But, he, he was he was pretty good out of me too, but he, he had to come up the chain and get me down. Cause the whole people Did he call the police? No, he just told me, man, he was not to. He, he, was, he was talking me out of it. He talked me out of it. And uh, he talked. He talked me out of it. And then I started to listen to him. I, I couldn't sleep with him. And then when my only my aunt was there and my little cousin, I saw people walking around. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Going around. going back to that uh, thing that happened here in Donna, when did you tell your uncle Juan what you had actually done, that you had killed someone? When did you tell him? Like, it was like, oh, are we going to be Sunday morning then? Like, mm-hmm. that, I was telling him, like, because I, really, I felt really bad. Like, Who were you telling huh? Who were you telling I told him, like, well, this I took this away from him. Yeah, okay. um, but who did you kill? Uncle and who else? Just him. Uh, and my aunt called when I was up in Carmel. She said that they, I was on TV or something that they that were vlogging me and everything. And she goes, What did you do? And I told her, I told her, I, she goes, What did you do? And I go, The devil told me to do it. The devil told me, the devil told me to kill him. And she goes, she goes, I'm going to call you back in 10 minutes. She didn't call me back. My other cousin called me and she just hung up on me. And like 30 minutes later, now we cooked up. And they were saying, Are you Paul Vasquez? And I'm like, yeah. And I lay down on the ground and they just hung up and got me up. Did you tell, ever tell our known for anything? No. You, did you ever tell me it was a Tacuache? I just said, I told my uncle that we killed a Tacuache. Well, who was the uncle? My uncle Juan. And he, he told me, I think you killed somebody. He told me, no, you didn't kill somebody. He kept telling me. And then I said, I just nodded my head yet, but I told him, I killed him, I just said. And then I got the chain on the shore too. Did he ask you where you guys had taken the body? Yeah. And what did you tell him? I told him, he and I did be buried and he was where I did it today. What did I tell him? I just, I just told him, I told him all the time. When you were telling him, you were just telling your tío Juan? Or was there anybody else with him? Nobody was there. Just me and Eddie. So you told him Saturday night? Yeah, it was about, it was almost like one. Was uh, the blood still? 
Was the blood still at that place? No, because they had asked me, they had asked me, what did you guys do? Who asked you? My aunt. Your aunt, aunt too? Auntie? Uh-huh. She said, what did you guys do? I want to see that little boy dead. And I said, I don't know. I guess he died. Mm-hmm. And I said, what did you guys do? I want to see that little boy dead. And I said, I guess he died. I was lying to her. I knew that we had done something to him. Did Danny ever give you a reason for you to do this? Who? Danny never gave you a reason? Uh, David? Little, the little boy you referred to, David? Yeah. He was just like a little angel, man. Mm-hmm. He was like a little what? A little angel. I mean, I don't know, man. I guess that's what told me to take him away from everybody. So when you hit him behind the head, he was looking at you or he was looking down? He first, he was, look, he was looking because he was standing up. He was looking like that and he said something and I go, no, oh, I'm sorry. And I just said, oh. Do you know, do you know what, he, what he said to you? He said, if you have papers. Well, what do you mean papers? To roll a joint. To roll a joint? Yeah. So he had money one or what? Yeah. He had to leave me to. He was the one that bought it. He so was he standing up or sitting down when, when you hit him? He was, he was like this because there was a wall. Right. And he was like this. Okay. And he got up. He goes, right when he got up, he looked down and he said, do you have papers? And I said, I'm oh, sorry. And I just hit him. And that's he said, no, you just screamed like, no, and I thought, damn. So, this, so when you hit him, when you hit him the first time, he kept saying no? No, he just said, like, ah, like, no, and then I told him, I'm sorry, and I'm sorry, I kept telling him that I was sorry, and then I just hit him, I hit him like two or four times. Was uh, David, did David have hair on him? No, I just hit him. Okay, did David have hair? Yeah. Or was he bald? Well, he had hair. Was it long hair or short hair? Like he had a comb back like this. A little bit shorter. No. Did you all cut off the hair? No. I think it's when, like we dragged him that way a little bit. In the scene, I think parts of his hair or some animal like got to him or something. Is there anything else you want to say about what happened? Mm-hmm. No, sorry for doing all that, man. I'm sure they're, and I need some help. Was Andy drunk? We were both drunk. We were not good. They were stoned. Mm-hmm. We were doing, I did some coke that one. Too. Do you think you did it because you were drunk? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't think about it. But you thought about going, going and burying him? And you thought about uh, dragging him across the street? And you thought about uh, uh, cutting his neck? Yeah, but it, I'm seeing it. And you thought about burning his tennis shoes and his uh, sandals and burying him? The next day, yeah, I thought that because I did shit. No, but during this happened, you said you, you did it because uh, you were you were drunk. But you thought about all these uh, things to do to try to cover up the, yourself? Yeah. So, uh, so were you, you weren't that drunk, right? No, I was drunk, sir. Um, I started thinking, like, man, if they could find this, they could find that, they're gonna nail me back. They're still gonna nail me, man. So I, I just did put in for them, put in for them, like that, under situation. <coughs> why, <coughs> why are you telling us the truth? Because you just want to know the truth, and I, I don't want to have that inside of me all drunk, because I know I killed him. I don't want to be like, mm, mm, constantly thinking about it, because. It's kind of Jeremy Creed, and I end up killing myself. Did anybody of us, any one of us, force you to say what you said? No, sir, I told you because you guys want to know. Thank you. It's uh, now uh, 7 32. <coughs>